Hey everybody, welcome to my Midway movie review. Sorry for that noise, I've got this uh, refrigerator that I have in my new condo that just whenever it turns on, has this loud buzzing sound and I don't really feel like waiting for that all to be over. But anyways, um, Midway is a movie directed by Roland Emmerich, the same guy who did Independence Day. And um, you know, th this guy's movies are very similar but i think for some reason with independence day just all the storylines seem to work together everything was tied tied into one another very well and he keeps trying to use that same formula and it doesn't always work so this one he had the real stories um this he he tried to do too much here if i had to describe this movie in one word it, it would either be bombastic or shallow M more leaning towards shallow i'd give this movie a 60 out of 100 on the star strider scale he, he does all the World War II. He starts right off the bat with Pearl Harbor. There's a ton of action. Then he goes into the Coral Sea. Then he goes into Doolittle's Raid. And then you go into Midway. And now the action scenes, the battle scenes of Midway were fantastic. Some of the best that I've ever seen. I absolutely loved that. I was completely entertained and I was like, oh my god. Those were the best, some of the best naval battle scenes I've ever seen. And that alone I think was worth it. Again, it's a 60 out of 100. I I enjoyed that. But, like, Doolittle's Raid just ended. It wasn't ever resolved. You have to, like... There's, like, some text at the end, like, with what happened with Doolittle. And, again, these are all real events, so it's, there's no real spoilers if you know your history. Um, Patrick Wilson did a good job as the intelligence officer. But uh, a lot of these guys, um, they're... You know, they're, they're playing real-life people. They're not fictitious characters. There just wasn't enough there. There was too much there. The Doolittle's Rage should not have been there. Uh, that, that whole thing, you could have spent more time with Dick Best, the pilot, um, which I think was the same character or same person portrayed by Charlton Heston in the old Midway movie. Um, it, there was too much crammed in there. There was just way too much. And... Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know why why he tried to do all this in in a single movie. Um, it, you know, by now it's already on streaming. I, I'd say it's good a good watch for stream or for a rental if you like war movies. Um, I actually would probably uh, get this movie just to, to watch the Battle of Midway. All that other stuff, the Coral Sea was absolutely pointless. The Coral Sea and Doolittle's Raid were pointless. This movie was way too stuffed. Stuffed really is um, another overstuffed. That's the word I would use to describe this movie. But um, I, yeah, man, it's um, I enjoyed the battle scenes, but it, it, it's it's gonna be a forgotten war movie. Um, it's there's there's nothing too special about it. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let me know, and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.